Faut qu'on parle ça. Quand il y a un fumeur de laptop, parce que je veux like a test render of of this setup, mama said to go back kind of test if everything is working correctly or not. So you can make, so you can go back to the transcript and make some more correction and adjustment tweets. Before I start, let me just modify the color of this backdrop. <coughs> modify the color of this backdrop so let me just use more of a darker tone to it and it shouldn't be shouldn't be all that reflective so let's open this up a bit more Let's see how it looks on food wrapped. Still have some sharp specular highlights on it though. Probably try something around this value. Okay. Need this quite raw. Shouldn't be any metal contribution to this. So I'm turning that off. I think this should be this should be just fine. Now turn off this plane for now also. So the main light is coming from this default light in here. If you turn off this other skylight, we have something, something more or less like this, a bit blown out, which I would like to correct. Let me just take down. Let me just take this down a bit more, so it doesn't feel too aggressive on the model. Okay, seems fine. Let's see. I want to kind of have the lights something more or less like so. <coughs> Maybe this kind of Shutting at the back from this fog surface of the studio to give it a slightly more interesting shadowed or shadowing background for this, which which I can leave. I think I can leave that. Okay. Let's see, let me see. Let me bring this forward a bit more. Something like this or something the other way around should be just fine. Alright, so let's just keep let's start adding in the textures that we need. So let's start with the uh, I'm just going to I'm going to start like with this pulling this <coughs> I'm going to start pulling this in for the I guess maybe not. Let's just start with the main body itself. So let me turn off every other thing apart from the main body. Uh, what is the 
everything. Okay, this is the lower version of it. Yes, I remember exporting two versions. Let me see if I can visualize the wireframe on this wireframe. Yeah, this one is more, this part level, this one on top is more dense. It's more dense compared to this one. So we can either, we can use any of them though. So let me just start with the lower version. Let me just work on the lower version instead. Let's see how, let's see how the lower version pans out. Okay. Let's have the lower version. So let's plug in the normal map for this. Uh, it should be XP textures. Come on, open up. Seems to have plugged something else in there. So the normal map should be the normal map. This feels way too aggressive. It's just way too strong. So let's try it. <clears throat> let's try it on the let me just name this to high. Let me just name this to high instead. So we can easily differentiate them. So <clears throat> this is what we have, which is very strong. Maybe even too strong if you ask me. So in this part alone, we need to. I don't think if there's a slider here to reduce. I'm going to do this slider here to reduce the intensity of this. Mm. Not that I remember. I don't think there's any slider here to reduce the intensity of this reduce the intensity of this normal map. So this is just way too strong. It's definitely way too strong. Even if you know, even if the even if uh even if uh what's it called? SSS is going to be a softening, softening out most of this detail. I still will not want this detail to be so strong the way it is right now. Just feels way too strong. Let's just, let's just carry on. Let's just carry on. So, for the color, Let's go to the albedo. Let's plug the albedo in here. Okay. Let's plug in the roughness map. I just do an invert 
for this. So the inverted version is what we need. How strong do we want this? Something somewhere, something somewhere around here should be fine. I think this normal map might might just actually work after adding SSS to this. It might it might just work. Okay, so the next thing we're going to be adding, there's no metallic property for this, so it should be basically everything. I should probably need to isolate everything else, but there's no, there's no, there's no way to say which way to isolate just so this. Let me see if, I, let me see if holding shift and clicking on this, control, alt, uh, nothing works. So, let me just turn up everything. Let me turn up every other access. I need the backdrop. Definitely need the backdrop. So this is basically what we have for the body. Let's view this at full quality. I think we want our light to be a bit brighter, so let's just make sure the light is on the guy's face. But it doesn't look too bad, at least from a distance. It doesn't look too bad from a distance. Most of everything we need seems to be working properly as it should. Maybe I'll need more of the brightness of the light because I want to have more. I like to have more brighter highlights around it. I like to have a bit more brighter highlight around this. And also, I'd like to check something else. I would also like to check. Uh, I have a few things in mind though. So some of this you get something I'm gonna add SSS to this. But this normal map just feels way too strong. Like extremely strong on the face. The body just the body feels just about right. But it feels just about right. Let's see if there are other layers of. Okay. Okay, I think. Also, I have an idea in mind. Yes, I have an idea in mind. A few things we can do. So I take out this normal map now and just the face. This looks nice. But we kind of need some brief up of normal map on top of this. So this is just this just boils down to the issue I had with them. Um, with the issue I had with the, with the baking. So let me see. Let me find a way to kind of make this work. Just kind of make this work. So we need to do some non not necessarily cheating though. But looking for <coughs> solutions to make this work since I had a lot of issues with the had a lot of issues with the uh, AD geometry, so I'll just have to look for a way to turn up 
kind of make this kind of make this work okay so remember we picked out we are trying to resolve the issue for the edge geometry I found a solution for it so we picked out a different edge then with the existing body we kind of merge them inside of inside of Photoshop so and I kind of saved them I saved them out as a TIFF file so we can easily open that up in Photoshop and then modify and make corrections to it so we have it in here so this is the head only this is the new one we picked out and I believe it should be the old one so let me just the head should be around here the edge should be oh yes this is, it. This is actually the head I think we can even use I think we can just basically use this map itself inside of inside of moment set to back I think it should work just fine yeah I believe I believe that should work just fine maybe it will make it a bit more interesting let me just turn all of this off for now let's visualize okay so this is the old one that's all this word that arrow is breaking out the normal map for the face giving us a more broader normal map to it so I think I can let me just rename this to let me name this to old old face old broad face normal all right then this one should be the new one so let me turn this off this is the new one that is a bit this new one is a bit cleaner this is the old and the new one is a bit cleaner so let me just name this to new head new okay new new face normal all right so what I'm going to do now is to I'll take this old one, put this on top of this. Then I'm just gonna blend between them. Not blend between them. So this old one, I'm just going to take this, take the opacity down a bit more. Maybe somewhere around let's see. Oh yeah, mistake. This one's this this layer is supposed to be on overlay. That's why we couldn't see much of what is happening. So I'm just going to put this at on overlay. So we should have the both of them on top of each other now. So now I can easily blend between the two. So let's leave the blend between the two. Maybe a value of 30 should be fine. Let's try value of 30. Now do a quick save for this. So let's go back to let's go back to mom set to bag and then test this out. So let's test this out in mom set to bag. It's still saving up though. So as soon as as soon as this saves up. As soon as this saves up. I would go back to mom set to mom set to back and then we'll test this out and find a value that should work just fine for what we need it for. So it's done saving now. So let's go back to mom set to back. So kind of removed what was there initially. Then let's import the new one. Let's import the new one. So I'm coming to the normal map. It should be should be this. Yes, yeah, this is the fire here, Tiff. So let's open this. <coughs> let's open this up. Okay. Yeah, the body will definitely remain. Now something doesn't feel right. 
can't see much of the detail of working on the body <coughs> working on the body so let's go back to photoshop let's try to figure out what we're missing oh yeah mistake that is actually turned off that particular layer is actually turned off so is this layer down here so let me let's turn it back on then we should have everything in there now so let's do let's do a quick save again let's do a quick save for this then that should automatically as soon as it saves that should automatically update itself in here so let's give this a moment So it's not saving here. So if you go back to moment set to back, yeah, that should update. So it's now updated now. Now we can see. Now we can see the details on the body. You can see it's not very it's not very obvious though, but at least we have something there that breaks up the surface a bit more. Same here also. I think I can actually leave this the way it is. This should be fine. This should be just fine. Our lights. I think we can crank this up a bit more. Just to have a brighter tone around this. Okay. This feels just about right. Yeah, this will work just fine. Should work just fine. Uh, I'd like to do something else. I'd like to crank up the details for the normal map for the body, though. Let's see. Let's go back to Photoshop and I'll duplicate this. Let's do a duplicate for this control G. I haven't tried this before, though. I hope this works. So let's do an overlay. That can that can do that can do anything. Let's do another one. So let's okay. Yeah, that, that actually cranks it cranks it up a bit more. So pretty neat trick. So do an overlay on top of this. So that should crank up the details for the body, excluding the excluding the head. So that's precisely what we want. Yeah, this will work. So I'll just do a quick save again. Let's do a quick save for this. And that should automatically update itself. Yeah, okay, I'd like to do one more thing also. I would also like to do the same thing. I would also like to do the same thing for this new face. So I'll duplicate this new face. And I'll do an overlay. And do, over, and do an overlay for that. I can also control where I want to be affected also. So I can decide to add a, a max instead in here. But, but first of all, let's just kind of see how this works inside of inside of Moment Set 2 back. Let's just do a quick save again. So now to see how this works inside of Moment Set 2 back for the face, then we can decide to make some more modifications to this or just leave this or leave it just as it is well the fact remains that we have we have a more greater control over this and we can easily update this in real time without having to hit render or like working with Arnold or any other or any other render engine that's, that needs to kind of recalculate and takes a bit of time depending on your PC, PC spec to give you a much cleaner result. So working with Mama Set 2 back 4 is a bit is a bit faster. Also another reason why I'm doing this is because as soon as you add SSS to this, she kind of see it feels a bit more intense now. 
So the reason I'm doing this is because as soon as you add SSS to this, it will kind of wash, it's kind of wash off, kind of wash off most of this detail you have in there. So I'm basically trying to have this detail more of its on there. Then when I add SSS to this, you kind of sorting everything out. So you kind of see there's a region that's a particular region that feels way too aggressive. Mm, now I'm to make some modification to this. Like example, now it's not making this nipple region a bit too aggressive. That feels way too aggressive. For the face, uh, mm, okay. okay. You know what? Let's just fire, let's just plug in some SSS, SSS into this. Let's see. Let's see what that gives us. Where is the SSS for this? Here yeah, transmission, uh, subsurface scattering, volumetric scattering. Not too sure which one to use though. Let's start with the subsurface scattering. The color in the color in there is is already good enough. As you can see right off the bat, adding this in already, you can see this introduces some more some more redness to the overall tone of the skin. I don't know if you guys can actually see that. Let me see if let's turn this off. I don't know if you guys can see this. I don't know if you guys can actually see this too. So let's let's just okay, let's just increase the scatter depth a bit more. Let's see. So it is the value of one. Let's crank this up a bit more. So you can see how this kind of sorting out the the general look of our model. But this is definitely not what we are going for. Definitely not. Because this is just this is just way too aggressive. This is way too much, like way too, way too aggressive on this. So I think a value of, let's try a value of five. Probably five feels, five feels <coughs> a bit too much though. Let's just try a value of five and let's see what we have in there. Let's try a value of five fish. Uh, Still feels way too soft though. <clears throat> Still feels way too soft, and I feel the extra intensity we added to our normal map feels it just feels a bit much. So it just feels it just feels a bit much because. You can more or less see the details in there for the for the skin pores. They're actually in there. They're not completely washed out. So I think what we can do, though another thing, <coughs> though another thing is that we can probably just take it down, intense it down a bit more in Photoshop because once you zoom out at a distance, most of those details become a bit washed out. But so, but we're basically trying to find a balance between not getting it completely washed out, but still kind of, but still kind of having them in there when we kind of take, take a closer look to this. So, basically, we're just going to tone tone this, especially for the body. But we're, we're going to tone down the intensity to around fifty percent, and that should work just fine. Then the intensity for the face, we can take out like. So that like uh, let's see probably a value of maybe fifty or value of 
fourth C should be just fine. But since we are having everything working in real time and then working a bit faster, so we would just do keep making modifications to this until we have the precise results. But for now, this cutter deck is way too much, like way too much. So let's go probably around half of this. Let's say so wait, let's say let's try a value of 2.5. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to find the right balance for this here. This feels this feels like a this feels like a good balance for it. We have subtasking to it with SSS underneath underneath this, which should more or less work just fine. But just for the sake of experimentation, let's try this volumetric capturing. Let's see. Let's see which one. Let's see which one works better. Okay, this particular one seems to work better because now, because now we can see. Okay, this one seems to. This one seems to give a better result. Now the reason why. Now the reason why this is giving a much better result is because this particular one kind of shows or adds some more redness to thinner part of the mesh. The thinner parts of the mesh seems to get a bit more of the SSS in there. Like for example now for the eye, we should look at the eye. You can see some more you can see some more Subsurface capturing around this thin lid of the eye, even around the also. So thin lid kind of gets more SSS. Same here also with the ear. So this does this will work just fine. I think this should be a better one. This is definitely a better one to you. Same with the thinner part of the lip. You can see this thinner part of the lip seems to get the SSS too. But not now. Like to do like I said initially, so take down most of the take down most of the uh well, no no I, I, I don't need to keep this is just way too much just making the house feel way too strong so i'll come back in here so for this particular one that will duplicate so i'm just going to take this down to an opacity of so this our opacity slider becomes more or less like our intensity slider so let's take this down to around 50 percent so you should have that at 50 percent now I think this is this is the end. The abs should be in here. Let me take this out. Let's see what that gives us. Uh, maybe a bit more. Let's see what how that looks at 100. A bit too much. So let's put this at around the value of 40. Okay. Then maybe just maybe this old face i'll put this down to a value of 20 then this new face the duplicator the duplication of this new face duplication of this new face i take that out duplication of this new face i'll drag put this down to around let's try 50 Mm, let's see how that looks at 100. Okay. Let me put it down to around 40 instead. Then we'll do a quick save for this. Let me just give this a moment to save up. Okay. Um, just let's just check let me be sure if everything is looking correctly for the year i don't want something i don't want something too strong for the year though just looking at the year now and i don't know if uh, look the year the year does not feel the year does not feel accurate enough i think i should have i think i should have probably will make a bit more correction to the year especially this loop this feels way too thin this way it's way too supposed to not soft supposed to soften this out even that thing seems just a battery but i'm supposed to soften this out 
but aside that I think aside that I think this seems to be working just fine. Let's see if this has been saving up. Yeah, that's been saving up. So if you should go back to mono set to bad and kind of get a visual look to this. Let's just check this again. Yes, I think this is a good value. Everything feels a bit softer now. It doesn't feel as aggressive as it was initially. So I believe this should be the magic number for this. Should be the magic number for this. Okay, so yes, this seems this seems just perfect. This feels <coughs> This, this feels perfect, at least to me. Except for the SSS, the SSS will need to turn down. Because this is bleeding out way too much. It's bleeding out way too much. So another way, we, another way we can adjust that is just by coming in here, and coming in here at the intensity. And let's just dial this down to let's try a value of one. Let's see. Value of one seems seems and feels right, but not completely there. Not completely there. Though we can always add the can always add the max to this though. We can always add we can always create a max for this. That would help us a bit more to get things looking right. So uh, I think let's try value. Oops, that is way too aggressive. So let's try value of let's try value of two. Then you always want to keep in mind that you always want to kind of check this from a distance. So you kind of want to check this from a, from a distance to be sure, just to be sure. Another thing we can do is to turn off the backdrop. Let's see, can just turn off the backdrop. Turn off the backdrop. Then for the sky, for the sky, I think. Let's use a. Let's use it. This is, this is a color and put this all the way to black. Then I'll do something. I'll do one, something else also. Just I just kind of I want to kind of show you guys you, other ways you can test your SSS to be sure if everything's working correctly or not. So I'll turn off these lights. To be part of these lights, I would like to go to the back of the character. Go to the back of the character. Even from the back of the character, right off the back, you can see. Let's see if we can just take the lights, kind of make the lights be more focused at the back. Okay, we need to kind of have this back the way it was. But as you can see how, as I'm moving the light, I can see the SSS or the volumetric scattering affecting its inner parts of the mesh in the air in this region. You can see it's affecting it. So, you can see it's affecting it quite nicely. So, another way we can also test this is to. In here, I will just I turn off this skylight. Then, still on this same view, let me just turn it off on for now. Can I show you guys something? It's still on this same back view. I turn this off and just do a quick save for this because I've done a lot of things in here. But from this back view, now we can just go to and just create a light at the back, like so. Light like this should be just fine. So now, if you turn this to the back view, the reason why I kind of turn to the back view for creating our light is because based on the particular view you are on, almost said to kind of create, almost said to but we kind of create the light based on that camera angle. So right off the bat now, from that camera, from that camera angle. We can see how the volumetric scattering is affecting, is affecting the back of the ears. So, 
in general we can even crank this up and take this down depending on how we want so if we, if we were to crank this up just show you guys how much is affecting this you can see how bright this looks now it looks it feels a bit more like wax or something else so we don't want this definitely do not want this so we are using a value of two so let's try a value of one let's see so a value of one feels a bit softer so a value of two was like the magic number for us so but one very one thing you need to keep in mind that is extremely important is to make sure this model is on real world scale so you have to make sure this model is on real world scale they will to check this. I think there's a way to take check this if I can if I can remember correctly I can remember correctly Uh, uh not really. I believe I've completely forgotten now to check this. But the main idea the main idea is that you kind of have this the this cotton model now is around is around six feet. Six six feet there about so I made sure before starting when starting my zebra cutting this particular model was a real world skill. So that's why I don't really have much issues with this having this at the value of one or having it at the value of two if you're having a different scale to the to your model and your model is not at, at a realistic scale then you probably will need to kind of adjust this scatter depth a bit more but this, this particular measure, this particular measurement reflects greatly on how your model is in the real world space or real world scale so with that in mind so now let me, let me just turn this, let me just turn off this light, where's the light, where's the light? Maybe we'll keep, maybe we'll keep the lights. Maybe we'll keep, maybe we'll keep the lights. Or maybe we'll turn off, let's turn off the light for now. I think our, I think our main light source is doing a pretty good job in here. But now it's affecting the eye way too much, I think I'll need to turn this down. So I'm basically trying to find the right balance for this. I'm basically trying to find the right balance for this. From a distance, now that feels very really harsh. That feels kind of harsh. Now, honestly, I can't even remember the value I used initially. So let's try 1.5. Then we'll turn off these lights. One of these back lights, let's see. Yeah, this feels right now. This feels right. Yeah, just, it's just completely up to you guys, though. Depending on how strong we want this to be, I need to modify that. Should probably keep this the way it is. Probably keep this the way it is. So let's bring back our backdrop. And get our light facing. Where is the light? Light is in here. But not lost. We put this on ambient sky again. Oh yes, there it is. There it is. Let's just find a good spot for this. So yeah, I think everything feels right for this. So I'm, I'm, I'm just going to. We can just now easily move on to putting some other things and adding some other materials to this. Everything this feels just about right. This feels just about right. I don't think I'll need to modify the. I don't think I need to modify. I don't think I need to modify. Just looking at the roughness map again. I don't think. Uh, I think I should. let's try some. Let's let's try to change this up a bit. You know that's way too rough. I don't want this to be way too rough. 
let's try this old way of Let's see if we can make this slightly better than it is. Not not necessarily slightly better than it is, but basically trying to have something similar to what we created instead of substance painter. And this feels probably probably a bit too shiny. Okay, now this feels way too a bit too shiny, so let me take this down. Just trying to find the right balance for this. No, no, I need to turn this off. Let's turn this back on. Turn this back on rather. So it's basically a back and forth thing until you find until you find something that actually works for you. Maybe <clears throat> let me take let me take out this abido for now. Let's see. Just want to kind of visualize just the just the roughness map on top of this. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, let's see. Uh, see, this is this is definitely what we painted instead of substance painter. With this inverted, this is definitely what we painted. Too shiny. See what we had instead of substance painter, no doubt. Okay. So let's introduce back our build map. Put this all the way to white. Yes. So this should this should be just fine. Let's see. This should be just fine. We need to kind of have some specularity on the skin just to make it feel a bit more alive. Let's make it feel a bit more alive. But now I'm noticing that this specular highlights, specular highlights feel way too much. Nah, I don't think I can live with this. The value we had, the settings we had previously felt just the extra parameters or the texture map. There's something here we can, <coughs> can adjust. Not really. Uh, this doesn't feel right or good enough for me. So let me just invert this. This feels this feels this feels a bit better. This feels a bit better. Too rough. This feels better. I think this would be the one. This would be the be the one that we can settle for. Yes, take a look at it. So now we can clearly now move on to the other parts of the message. We're kind of done. Uh, I will not say the best job, but at least a pretty good job to kind of get this to look believable enough for us to continue working on the other parts of the mesh. And just the quick save. So I'll come back in the next lesson. We're just going to carry on with the loop development for this for the other. For the other parts of our uh, mesh. So I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Give okay, one more, thing, one more. Thing. This backdrop. I'd like to darken this backdrop a bit more.
yeah, something like this fine okay all right so you look safe and i'll see you guys in the next lesson